Hi, I'm Chris Leader. I'm the president of Leaders Edge Training, and I want to welcome you to our monthly tips. This series is going to focus on how to handle client objections. It's one of the topics I get asked about most frequently by my students. I hope you enjoy them, and feel free to pass them on to anybody on your contact management system. This month's tip deals with when you're with a client and they've decided they want to interview a couple of other agents before they make a decision on which one they're going to choose. And you got to know in our business this happens fairly frequently if you're out on a number of listing appointments. So I would think that you need to be prepared to deal with this one. The first thing I might do is demonstrate my level of experience. Let them know how long you've been in the business, what your list to sell ratios are, how that compares to other agents in the market and what your average days on the market is compared to the average agent in your board. Do a nice bar graph or pie chart that demonstrates the level of commitment and the level of expertise you bring to the table. The second thing I would show them is your ongoing pursuit of conti to continue your education. Let them know that you're constantly investing in yourself so that you can do a better job for them and, and all of their clients. Take out your testimonial letters and show them how you've been able to help other folks who were in similar situations and help them make the decision to make the move. This will help in terms of a third party endorsement. And today we're finding third, third party endorsements speak louder than actual advertising. The next tool I would put on the table if they're still not convinced is a comparison chart. I would look at all of the different companies in the marketplace, the different products and services and your competitors. On one side of the chart would be everything that you do. On the other side would be what the competitors do. And how I would set it up is something along these lines. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I understand it's a big decision and choosing the right agent is important. But let me ask you this. What if there was a way for you to do a scientific analysis? I mean, really look at all the different products and services and who was the best agent for you in the marketplace. Would you be interested in seeing that kind of research if it was available? Well, the good news is, is I've done that homework for you and let me take a minute and show you all of the research. At the end of that particular chart, of course, it's going to demonstrate that you have more products and services than the competitor. And if the fees were basically the same fee to do business, then it makes more sense to go with you than it does with them, given the fact that they actually receive a higher level of service. Now, if that one doesn't work, I would pony right up with the technique I call the recruiting letter. From here on in, I want, you to I want you to save all of the recruiting letters you get from all of the different brokers who are constantly courting you to come and work at your company. What I want you to do is keep them in your listing presentation. And when the client says to you, I want to interview a few other agents, ask which company they might want to, they were considering interviewing with. If it happens to be ABC, for instance, what you might want to say is, well, let me ask you this. If you called over and asked to speak to the boss at ABC Realty and asked them who the best real estate agent in town was and they recommended me, would you then agree to use me? Now, the homeowner is going to say, uh, they're not going to say that. And I'm going to come back with, well, let's pretend if they did. And then they said, well, if they did, I guess we would, but I don't think that's going to happen. My response to that would be, well, let me show you something. When I do, it's going to make all the difference in the world. I take out the recruiting letter I had received from the ABC owner, and it would say right there in the letter that they hold me in high regard, they think I'm a great agent, and they would like to hire me. In a nutshell, what you're really saying to the client is this. Even the competition wants to hire me, so if you were going to make a decision, doesn't it make sense to go with me when everybody else wants to?